everybody. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the four simple steps that you need to know to be successful in your network marketing business. Yes, only four. Let's dive in. So I'm serious. There's only four steps that you need to master in order to be successful in your network marketing business. You can get caught up in tons and tons and tons of training and learning, but if you're not implementing these four income producing activities, you're not going to be successful in your network marketing business on a consistent basis. So let's dig in today and just talk about the four steps that you need to master in order to be successful in your network marketing business. Step one is prospecting. And here I'm not necessarily talking only about your warm market, starting with your friends and family. Do I believe that's a great place to start with your network marketing business? Of course I do. Your friends and family are there to help you and support you and help you get through those first 30 to 60 days, get some practice in. But at some point you have to realize that you're not going to build this six figure income, this multi-million dollar um, organization based solely on your friends and family. So when I say prospecting, I mean, what I mean is getting outside of your warm market, getting outside of your comfort zone, yes, it sounds scary, and meeting people um, in the real world. There's several different ways that you can do that online and offline, and we'll cover that in another video. But one skill that you definitely need to master is prospecting. Step number two, or I should say skill number two, is presenting. If you're not presenting your information and your products to people on a daily, weekly, monthly, consistent basis, then your business is dead. So this is something that's going to take some practice as well. So there are many different ways to do this step as well. In my personal business, we use um, free samples, um, inviting people to listen to your opportunity, get eyeballs on your presentation, get eyeballs on your products. You need to get to a point where you're doing this on a consistent daily, weekly, monthly basis in order to reach those long-term goals. It's something that you're gonna to need to practice, which again is why I say starting with friends and family is a great place to start, but it's not where you're gonna end with a successful business. Step number three follow-up. And you'll hear this over and over again in network marketing. The fortune is in the follow-up. And people kind of freak out about follow-up. And honestly, there's nothing to be scared of. As a professional network marketer, it is your job to follow up with your prospects. It is your job to follow up with your customers and just check on them. Now, when I say follow-up, am I talking about nagging and um, hounding the same people over and over and over and over and over and over again? Absolutely not. There's a professional way to do it and there's a non-professional way to do it. This again is a skill that you need to develop. You need to um, increase your skills in this area. You need to be a constant student of how to deal with people, how to answer their questions, how to lead them from one appointment to the next appointment, how to educate them on um, your products, your opportunity, and really dig down to the nitty gritty of them. It's not about you, it's about them, about what they need, what their needs are, and whether or not your product, your service, your opportunity actually meets their needs. So take the pressure off yourself and take the pressure off of your prospects and realize that you're just creating relationship, you're looking for their need. If your products and your opportunity um, fill that need, feel free to offer it and for, feel, feel free to follow up with them and set that next appointment of education and set the next appointment after that. If you're not finding a need and you're not finding that your products or your opportunity fit that need, then just develop the relationship. There's nothing wrong with just making friends and networking with people outside in your community, outside in your city, um, outside in your country and across, across the entire world. The fourth critical step that you truly need to learn and develop in your network marketing business is how to help 
fast start your new recruits. So you put all of this time and effort into finding an amazing recruit, someone who has decided to jump on board with you and change their life with your opportunity. And your job now is to help them have the most successful first 30 days, first 60 days and onward um, in their network marketing business. So this takes some skill and some time. If you're brand new in the business, you're gonna have to rely on your upline, which is why it's very, very important before you join any network marketing company to look at your leadership, to look at your sponsor and make sure that you have someone who's gonna guide and direct you and groom you for success in network marketing. This type of education is priceless. It's the difference between um, starting a network business and fizzling out or starting a network uh, network marketing business and truly having the tools that you need to move forward. Let's be honest, no one starts a network marketing company just trying to be average. Typically, most people will either join network marketing to get a discount or two, to really change their life, to change their financial financial situation, whether or not it's a couple hundred dollars a month or a couple thousand dollars a month or even a six figure income. So it's our job to teach them, to show them the ropes, to show them how to not be a spammer, how to not attack their friends and family, how to start off correctly with an amazing launch party and then move forward. They're not gonna learn everything all at once, which is why it's very important to find a leader that you can rely on in the beginning to teach you and show you the skills. And I will say one last thing, um, if you find yourself in a network marketing company or an organization where you don't have that, you're not at a complete and total loss. The buck stops with you. Truly, if you're not having the sponsor that is showing you and grooming you, it is totally doable to become successful. You have to be a student. You have to be a long-term student of network marketing. You have to be learning each and every single day. So I hope these tips have helped you today to understand the four steps that you need to master over time in your network marketing business to be consistent. There's a lot of different things that you can get distracted with out there, but you really truly need to, to nail it down to the income producing activities. I love to learn. I love to be motivated. I love to take notes. I love to blog. I love to do a ton of stuff, but if I'm not doing the income producing activities, the four simple steps, prospecting, presenting, following up, and helping my new brand partners um, become successful. I'm really just treading water and I'm not getting anywhere. So, so there you have it. The simple critical steps that you need to master in order to rock your network marketing business. I would love to meet you. Reach out to me on Facebook at Megan N. Maynard or on my website, meganmaynard.com or my blog, mylipstickdiaries.com. Feel free to share this video with friends, with teammates, with anyone you would, who would find value. And we will see you guys on the next training. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.